Wild 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 West stunt show was a live stunt show at Universal Studios Florida, which opened on July 4, 1991. The show was a live-action theatrical presentation featuring dangerous appearing stunts in a scripted presentation along with various mechanical and pyrotechnic special effects. The attraction was situated in the Amity section of the park. The show was nearly an exact recreation of the show from Universal Studios Hollywood. The main difference was the amphitheater was more modern and better appointed for crowds. As guests began to filter into the 2,000-seater amphitheater, the cast of the show would entertain the crowd with some pre-show comedy, interacting in a mischievous way with guests as they headed for their seats. The area is set up like a town right out of the Wild West, complete with a theme song from Bonanza playing in the background. The fast-paced action is centered on a single family, the Hoppers, who participated in an exciting display of fistfights, bullwhips, trapdoors, water gags, shootouts, explosions, horseback riding, and a 24-foot free fall from the top of building. The show features five characters, Ma Hopper, her sons Claude and Cole, along with Felix Cassidy and Brad Taylor. Twenty performers were hired for the attraction, with five working per show. Most were trained stunt performance artists, with some being dance or acrobatics professionals. The main premise for the show was Ma Hopper and her boys were determined to prove to their audience that their stunt skills were superior to those of the Universal stunt team, and throughout the show become embroiled in a battle of wild western wits against the others. Ma Hopper and her sons, then get drawn into a series of skits, with a lot of comedy elements. They use props such as foam crates, and sugar glass to show how the effects were produced for movie stunts. During the show, Ma Hopper is involved in a couple of the main stunts of the show. In one segment, she is seen perched on top of the balcony, just before one of the stunt team makes the balcony collapse, which makes her fall around 14 feet into the scenery below. In another scene, Ma Hopper is caught up in a scuffle, which leads to her falling backwards into what appears to be a deep well. There is a loud yell, and a small explosion, with water splashing out into the spectator area.
The illusion of the scene was that the stunt actor had fallen a great height into a deep well, however it was only 5 feet deep, and was protected by padded mats to break the fall. Water jets were set off automatically once pressure pads were hit during the fall. During the show, guests were shown some of the flashy tricks using firearms, with the cowboys aiming to hit the can on the fence post. Pyrotechnics would go off simultaneously to give off the effect that the can was shot first time. Other stunts included a performer zipping along a wire to escape an exploding building, where a grenade was set off, causing a big explosion. The stunt crew had to time it perfectly to ensure the stunt happened safely. The show continued with a lot of slapstick comedy, with gunfire, fist fights, and action on horses, with some acrobatic skits thrown in, with the troublesome family continuing their squabble with the stunt team in various scenes. One of the most dangerous stunts was performed, when the hoppers are fighting with the stunt crew on the ground. One of the brothers is on the rooftop, and is eventually shot down and falls from the roof. The 24-foot fall was a traditional stunt method used in movies, known as high planking, before the invention of foam pads, and used several sheets of plywood to break the fall. After the fall, the performer would wiggle both feet after landing to let everyone know that they were okay, and that the stunt was executed safely. In the final act of the show, Felix Cassidy is seen sitting down, strategically situated for the final stunt of the performance, where a small explosion goes off in the building behind him, which then causes the front facade to fall down on top of him. Over the years, the stunt show Amphitheater would also be used for a similar show during the Halloween Horror Nights, where Bill and Ted would take their excellent adventure to the Wild West.
Over the years, Universal began adding more complex and up-to-date attractions, with Western films becoming something park guests were less interested in. Popularity dipped and the attraction closed after 17,000 shows on September 1, 2003. The Wild 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 West stunt show was eventually replaced with Fear Factor Lift, a stunt show putting participants up against their fears and challenges from creepy crawl eyes to extreme heights. It opened on June 3, 2005. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Orlando Worlds, and on Instagram at The Orlando Worlds. Thanks for watching.